You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. It's time to start living, part one. In Paul's letter to the Galatians, Galatians 5.13, he writes, It's absolutely clear that God has called you to a free life. Just make sure that you don't use this freedom as an excuse to do whatever you want to do and destroy your freedom. Rather, use your freedom to serve one another in love. That's how freedom grows. Wow. We went to the Te Papa Museum a few years ago and visited the Terracotta Warrior Display. They were discovered in 1974 in China when some farmers accidentally found them when digging a mound in a paddock. So the collection is of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Xian Shi Hua, the first emperor of China, in about 210 BCE. It's a form of funerary art buried with the emperor in 210 to 209 BCE. The purpose of this was to protect the emperor in his afterlife. The figures include warriors, chariots and horses. And estimates from 2007 were that the pits held more than 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses and 150 cavalry horses. There were other terracotta non-military figures in the pits, including officials, acrobats, strongmen, and musicians. Get this, every soldier is totally unique and were coloured when they were made 2,500 years ago. They had weapons and poses, and the generals were taller than the standard soldiers. The thing that interests me is that the emperor was only 13 years of age, when the work started on preparing all this for his afterlife. At 13 years of age, he feared death. And so for 40 years, with 700,000 workers involved, they created this vast army. And the emperor obviously lived with this great burden of impending death. He lived with this oppressive limitation. It was like being in a prison or a cave. It illustrates that a person can have the whole world at their fingertips and yet have nothing at the same time, or even have bondage at the same time. But this also illustrates the human state. And it seems like when people are really afraid, full of fear, they look for a cave to hide in. The first reference of a cave in the Bible is when Lot came out of Sodom and Gomorrah and he had obeyed God and done what God had told him to do. But once he got outside, his wife had turned back and became a pillar of salt. The Bible said that he began to waver in his faith and question the decision he'd made. He became depressed afraid and discouraged, and he found a cave at Zoor, which was the lowest cave, incidentally, on earth, 1,329 feet below sea level, according to biblical archaeology. He went in there and fell to pieces, getting drunk. His world was caving in, and he found a dark place, because he was afraid and worried and defeated. Fear will drive you into a dark place. Fear will result in you wanting to hide from the world. And we were not made to live in fear, to live in a cave. People, it really is time to start living again. Keep listening. God bless you.